beautiful people, it's Steph and welcome back to the channel. Today's video I am so excited for. I haven't done like an official thrift my Pinterest board where I go through my Pinterest board and I find things and recreate the look and outfits. I am so, so excited. I'm doing it for winter 2021 since we are literally already almost through fall. I'm so sad about it. I love fall, but I did do a Pinterest one for fall. I will leave that down in the description box below. But yeah, I'm just really stoked to thrift some outfits today. So let me show you what is on my Pinterest. Sport. So there's really no surprise again a bunch of neutrals a bunch of rust colors greens a lot of boots and a lot of these Birkenstock slides I've been loving them with like socks and like a look and like an oversized sweater it just looks so comfy have some pops of mustard yellows a lot of button up mock neck sweaters lots of plaids beanies. I'm just really inspired during the fall and winter months. I feel like that's when my style thrives. So I'm so excited to hopefully find some of these great pieces. Like I am just drooling. Like I wish this was my whole wardrobe. We're going to go to my favorite Goodwill that I literally take you guys to all the time. I feel like I score amazing stuff here. And yeah, I'm just really excited to dive in. So if you guys are ready to go thrift in, then let's go. Before getting into today's thrift trip, we have to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Dossier Perfumes. If you are like me and you love perfume, but you don't want to break the bank, then Dossier is for you. Dossier Perfumes dupes all of your favorite high-end designer perfumes at the fraction of the cost. Discover quality fragrances inspired by the iconic scents you love starting at just $29. Dossier takes away all the big markups that luxury brands have while also using clean ingredients and are cruelty-free, which is a big plus for me. I know that sometimes buying a perfume on Online can be tricky because you may not love the scent, but Dossier has a risk-free system which allows customers to try their perfumes before committing to them. If you decide to return the scent, they offer a standard 30-day return period. You can return any unsealed Dossier perfume and get a full refund, no questions asked. I also love the way Dossier designs their bottles. I love that it is so simple yet amazing quality. I also love that the tops of the bottles are magnetic so you will never have to worry about losing the cap or spillage. You're not just paying for the quality of the fragrance, but you're also paying for the quality of the bottle. My favorite scent this month from Dossier is Citrus Green Apple. I'm normally not into fruity scents, but with the notes of amber, cedarwood, and musk, it really gives different elements to the fragrance. Not to mention the scent lasts all day and I'm always getting compliments on my scent. I love that Dossier gives you all these options to try new scents without breaking the bank, and I also love the quality they put into each bottle. They're always adding new scents to their collection, so always check back to see if your favorite fragrance is added to their releases. You never know what you will find, and it could be your new favorite scent. If you want to try any of their scents, Dossier has given me a one-time discount code for 10% off. Just use the code STEF10 at checkout and that will be applied to your purchase. But thank you so much, Dusty, for wanting to partner with today's video. And now, let's get to the thrift trip. sweaters and I went through a couple go back racks this is not on my mood board whatsoever but I think this is so freaking cool and normally these are not colors that I would go for but it's actually reversible so I might just try it I feel like I have some quilted things on my board next thing I found is this cardigan and I do have some cool textured cardigans it's not the warm colors that I normally go after but again I think it's really cute and if anything it's also gonna go in the shop but look how fun this is I feel this amazing green cardigan I have a lot of emerald greens on my Pinterest board it is a cable knit it's a cardigan love cardigans don't have enough of them so I will be trying this on in a little while I also found two sweater vests I actually really like this one it's not coming up on camera but it's like a brown olive green but I like the ribbing a lot this one I think is gonna be a little too wide so I am gonna get it for my shop though I just love me a good sweater vest which if you guys don't know I do sell vintage clothing on an Instagram which I always
always leave that down in the description box below. I do a drop every Saturday at five, so definitely follow that. And then I found this nice button down. I don't know if it's like necessarily something that's on my board, but I feel like I just grabbed it because it is this color and it's in really great condition. So I will also be trying this and seeing if this will work. So that's it for sweaters. I already looked at the men's, didn't really find much. So we're not gonna go into the long sleeves. I wanna do some more layering looks. So maybe I can find a really cool layered piece to make a full outfit. So we're gonna head over there now. I just found this adorable trademark shirt. It's like a chartreuse green, but it has the collar. This is in literally perfect condition. Oh my God, like it doesn't go with anything, but I feel like I just have to hang on to it because it's so freaking cute. But still looking through all the long sleeves. I still have all of that to go through. So much stuff. was pretty successful as far as finding layering pieces. I have this jumpsuit that I wore in the summer. I will put the picture right here, but I wanted to make it fall winter. Since I have a lot of greens and things, I found this striped mock neck long sleeve tee, and I also found this brown one. So I kind of want to recreate something like this, but maybe like minus the tennis shoes, maybe like more with like my docks. I found those and was really excited. I then found just an oversized cable knit sweater with the pearl detail, which I don't know if I love the pearl detail, but I'll hang on to it. And I feel like I could take off the pearls if I wanted. So that is all I found for the layering, but I'm going to go into the short sleeve section now. This is where I am now. And usually they have some like long sleeves and things tucked in. So so I'm gonna get to looking and see if I can find some more stuff to make some outfits. I just started looking in the first style and look at this adorable shirt that I found. Um, I'm really excited. I hope, I hope and pray this fits me because this is just freaking cute. Look at these quilt patterns. Guys, the thrift store today is just popping. I'm so excited. I hate when something is sticking out of a rack. Like, look at those. Those would be perfect. But then they add these stupid undershirts. Like, why not add buttons? Like, why not take that out? Like, look how cute that would have been. So frustrating. But I just pulled this cute little number out of the rack. It is from Target, but I have one very similar, and I think this would be so cute. Just tucked in. So... I'm gonna keep that. It just cracks me up how much of LuLaRoe I'm seeing in here. Did you watch the Amazon documentary on this? It was a wild time, but now LuLaRoe just comes to the thrift store to just die. It's kind of wild how much is in here. I have so many chore coats pinned and I'm starting to get more into navy, I think, because I have more browns now in my closet. But look at this amazing top. It's not quite a chore coat, but since I'm shorter, it might be able to just be closed since it is oversized. And I freaking love that it actually has pockets on the front, so this could work. I also think I'm just going to get this plain striped t-shirt. Like, this could also be a vibe. So we'll see, because I have a bunch of stripes that are also pinned as well. I then found this 100% linen top. I want to say it's actually a men's. Yeah, it is a men's. So I'll have to see if this will make the cut. I showed you guys this blouse. I think I'm definitely going to get it. It's so freaking cute, like just tucked in with some boots. And then I showed you guys this shirt. Um, This this is for sure happening, because look how amazing. And it's navy blue. Maybe navy blue is like my new thing. I don't know. But I think I'm going to go into the pants really quick. I don't really find a lot of pants at this location, but it's worth a shot.
found a pair of jeans and I really hope that these fit because these are like really amazing blue jeans. This is brand point blank. I've seen this brand before but these just feel so nice in their high rise so we're gonna have to see if these fit. But now I'm gonna tackle the most dreaded section for me and that is the dresses. Last time I went through dresses I actually did find something and I feel like I could make a dress work if I have one pinned on my Pinterest so I probably do but I'm just so sure that it's really hard for me to find dresses but um I'm just gonna go try my hand at that and wish me luck. shoes because I found nothing in dresses and look what you girl found I've been looking for something similar to these these are so cute it says they're a size 38 but I feel like I could make them fit they feel really nice feel like a real suede so I'm gonna keep them in the cart and I'll try them on in a minute but I'm just trying to see if they have any other like really cute boots because I never look out with boots and shoes at this location guys it's just it's just my thrifting day I'm so sad because I don't know if that's gonna come up but that says Everlane but they're size 11 I am debating just getting them for my shop because these are really nice so I'm gonna throw them in the cart like these are really fun if these were my size I think I'd grab them because these are really comfortable but normally all the boots are taken and especially in my size where there's nothing so really exciting this is currently my cart got so much stuff in it all of this in here is probably gonna be things that I'm sifting through for my vintage shop so stay tuned but I'm gonna start going through all of this and seeing if it's something that maybe I can recreate. So let's get to it. This is that oversized navy blue kind of chore coat looking blouse and I think this is gonna work. It's not like super long, but I think it's so cute. But I think this is for sure coming home with me. It's so freaking cute. These boots kind of look like the same size as my docks. So we're gonna slide these on. Okay, they are a little big, but I don't think they look too long. I think these are real cute, so I also think I'm gonna grab these. Imagine with these jeans, like these are so good. I'm really hoping these fit. I didn't know that this is gonna fit me because I have another Target shirt that's a large that's very similar to this, but I love it with these jeans as well. This is the emerald green cardigan. I wish it was a little bit more oversized. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so I can actually like layer. I feel like since I have a long sleeve, I'm like suffocating. So I don't think I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna leave it for someone else to enjoy. But that's all that I can try on for right now. So I'm gonna go through all of this and uh, decide what I'm gonna get. So I'll see you guys at home during the tryout portion. I have all of the Pinterest outfits ready to go and I'm just so excited to dive in and show you guys everything that I got. The first item I did pick up is that really amazing quilted patchwork blouse. Now I didn't have anything specific on my Pinterest board for an outfit so I just grabbed it because I felt like I was still an inspiration. Just pairing it over with like a cardigan for the winter. It's just so freaking cute with some boots and these jeans. So I'm pretty obsessed with this and I was so happy that I grabbed it during this trip. The next item I picked up is the striped shirt. Now this is just gonna be a really simple look. I just paired it with a beanie with just some jeans and boots, but I was inspired by some tomboy looks as well. This is literally the perfect striped t-shirt. I don't have anything like this in my closet, so I was really, really excited to find one while I was thrifting, so this was definitely a bonus find that I needed also in my wardrobe. I did pick up the chore coat inspired outfit, and this is the photo that I am recreating and this is the outfit that I have on. It's so cute on. I think I like it more buttoned than unbuttoned, but it's kind of cool that I can do both looks if I wanted to. I noticed I picked up a lot of navy on this trip, and I didn't actually have a lot of navy on my board, so I'm really excited to be diving into more navy blues. Just really excited to have this in my closet. It's the perfect addition to also what I needed. Next thing I bought was the Icelandic inspired cardigan. These are, again, not colors that I normally wear because they're pink, but it is the navy blue. I'm trying to recreate this photo right here. I don't have the exact colors, but I do like the inspiration behind it. I also did end up grabbing those western boots, so I did pair it with this outfit and the shoes, and I think it turned out so cute, just like 
the outfit. So I was really excited that I was able to combine two things off the Pinterest board that I got on this trip to make a complete outfit. So I'm hoping that I'm able to find more as winter goes, maybe more like the warmer tones, but for now I'm definitely going to hang on to this. It is absolutely adorable and I'm obsessed. I ended up grabbing that blouse and this is the blouse that I had pinned on my Pinterest. It's not quite the same, but I do love the warm tone and I like that I actually didn't tuck it in. I like that it's just more like flowy and casual, but I feel the lace up boots really make this outfit. I'm excited that I'm able to wear this pretty much all year round too, which is really nice. It is a lighter weight so I can add a cardigan over it if I wanted to, which I did here. So excited that I was able to find this as well. The next three pieces I'm actually going to show you are some things that I picked up on the trip and I'm able to make a full outfit and I'm so excited about it. I picked up that sweater vest. I picked up this long sleeve mock neck tee and I also picked up the denim. This whole look together is so fun. I usually don't wear a lot of sweater vests but I think with this picture that I'm recreating it kind of works for me in my style. I really do like the fit of the jeans as well. I wasn't sure how these were going to fit. I like the color combos and contrast that I am creating with this outfit. It's not quite on point with the picture but I still think I did a really good job. So while I was at the thrift store I told you guys that I had this really amazing jumpsuit which is this one right here. I wore it in the summertime but it is thick enough to wear during winter. So this is the photo that I'm recreating except I'm actually pairing it with Doc Martens because that definitely is more my feel rather than tennis shoes. So I paired this underneath my jumpsuit with my Docs. I decided to throw the beanie on last minute because I felt like I just needed to be a little bit more balanced. I'm loving this color contrast and playing with different color blockings. I'm obsessed with this look. But that is it for today's video. I love doing the thrifting my Pinterest boards. They are so fun for me to do and so fun to be creative. So if you don't want to miss any more of those videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below. If you don't want to miss any more behind the scenes content or daily outfit inspiration, also make sure to follow me over on my Instagram at The Wandering Flare. All my social links are down in the description box below. But thanks guys for always wanting to come along on my thrift trips. It makes me so happy that we get to thrift together each week. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye friends.